in this video we are going to be uh, covering SQL scripts and basically the language that is write is, is used to write these scripts is SQL right the structured query language and it is used with databases the DBMS provides support which basically means we can use SQL scripts to perform different operations on our database to perform different operations on our database what do these operations include we can create a database or a table right we can create a database or a table using SQL we can uh, add or delete records using SQL we can modify or update certain fields in the records right for example if we want to change the address of a person right so we can modify uh, records also existing records can be modified also so all of these things that can can be done through SQL we can also you know uh, when we define tables you know we can add foreign keys uh, we can add primary keys you know all of the operations that we m that we may want to perform on a database can be accomplished with the help of SQL scripts so basically these are small pieces of code they you are able to run them execute them as a result databases are created tables can be created data can be new data can be added new records can be added older rec old records can be deleted and we can modify existing records also okay let's take a look at a few basic uh, scripts that can be used to create a database or to create a table if you for example want to create a new database then you can simply use the create command right and I'm just going to write in capitals because that's the standard way of doing it and you can you can say create database and you can give that database a certain name for example in the previous example that we were doing you know uh, the, the example that we were covering in, the, in in normalization for first normal form second normal form and third normal form we could name our database as band booking database right so so that's it you know this is a simple script this is a line of code which does what we use the keyword create to create and then we say we want to create a database and finally we give the name of the database likewise if you want to create a table you once again say create table and then you provide the name of the table for example you can say create the table called band but remember when we create a table a table has fields also so we can use the brackets to define the different fields that can be included in the band table for example the band table has two different fields one of the fields is the band name right and the other field for example is the uh, number of members right so these were the two fields that were part of the band table now we can add these two fields in the brackets right and we can also define their data type for example band name was basically text or string value in databases uh, the text field is instead of writing text as the data type we say variable character v a r c h a r okay and then we can also specify the length of this field so for example we can say that the band name is going to be at maximum 10 characters long so so what we've said is instead of string we have used the variable we, we've used the data type called where care it's the same as string right and here number of members for number of members we can also provide the data type and basically uh, number of members is numeric data type right and to in, instead of writing integer here we define this as you know the data type is said you know that it is a number right so remember this is um, slightly different from how we use text and integers instead of text we use varchar 
and instead of integers we use uh, you know the data type number and number is uh, let's say we can say that the number of members can be a maximum of two digits long right two digits long which means what a band can have 10 or maybe 99 members but it can't have 100 members this is not allowed because this is three digits long right so so what we've done is we've said that uh, you know um, number of members is a field its data type is number and the m and the length is what two two digits in this case right and then we put this colon at the end so we have uh, defined our table band right but uh, we've not mentioned which one of these two fields is going to be the primary key if you remember band name was the primary key and to do that we can say that you know we've already defined the band table but we want to alter the definition a little bit we want to change the definition a little bit we want to provide some more information so we are going to say that I want to alter the table band ok let me just write that down band and basically what I want to do is that I want to provide information about the primary key so I want to add some information and that added information is basically related to primary key ok so I want to give additional information about the primary key and in this case the primary key is the field called band name ok so here I created a table I defined it by providing the field names I added you know also information regarding the data types right and finally I added more information using the alter command right I said alter table band add primary key and then I gave the name of the band ok likewise what if I want to add the foreign key what if I want to add the foreign key let's assume I had a table called uh, booking table and let's assume the booking table was already defined so I'm not going to define it again I'm not going to write create table booking I am assuming that it is already defined but I want to add the foreign key to that table so for example I want to say uh, alter the existing table alter the existing table uh, called booking right and I want to add foreign key to this booking table ok and if you remember uh, from the example that we did you know the venue name was added as a foreign key to the booking table right so we are going to do that uh, right here and I'm basically referring to the video that we did on third normal form right in that we added the venue name as the foreign key to the booking table so what I'm saying is that alter the table booking by adding a foreign key and I want to add venue name as the foreign key and venue name is basically uh, you know you can actually go you can reference the table called venue right you can reference the table called venue and you'll find venue name inside of that table ok so here's what I'm saying I am saying that a new foreign key has to be added the name of the foreign key is to be is venue name and this venue name table this venue name field is basically you can find it in the venue table so in the venue table look for the venue name and this field is basically the foreign key right so that's what I've said and this is the word reference okay so I'm providing reference basically as to where I have picked up this venue name from and this has been picked up from the venue table okay these are very simple statements that we just covered right and these statements that we've just covered are collectively known as the data definition language they are called DDL they are related to defining remember we have not added any values we have not added any values to our database what we have done so far is we have created databases 
we have created uh, uh, tables, we have been able to modify the definitions of tables by adding uh, primary key or by adding foreign key. So, that is what we that that is what we have done so far and therefore, this is known as DDL data definition language right. So, these few scripts that we have just written in SQL they are basically used to define you know the database and the associated things right. So, this is therefore, called DDL. So, this is basically SQL script and I hope you have understood this concept.